Hello there, Truth Seekers. It's good to see you here again. This is your regular dose of Royal News and Analysis. Today, get a hold to yourself because the Royal Drama is just getting a whole lot juicier. Get ready for flying crockery and Montecito shockwaves as we dive into the latest bombshell revelation that sent shockwaves through the corridors of power. I'm about to spill the royal tea that's hotter than ever, so buckle up and brace yourselves. But wait, there's more before we unveil the juicy details. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and smash the notification bell. Trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming next. Now let's jump in and get started. So King Charles has just handed one of Meghan's and Harry's biggest hate figures a golden ticket to the royal inner circle. Sir Edward Young, the man who clashed with Prince Harry and was to blame by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex for their royal rose, have been granted a permanent position as the King's Lord-in-Waiting. Yes, the very person who Prince Harry accused of orchestrating Megxit is now going to represent King Charles' events when he's not able to attend. It's more than raised a few eyebrows to say the least. Remember when Prince Harry dropped those bombshell memoirs? Well, he didn't hold back on his opinions on Sir Edward. Harry revealed that he nicknamed him The Bee due to his supposedly... Poise, his crazy poise, painting a picture of a man who Harry believed was orchestrating things behind the scenes. But that's not all. The trio of palace advisors who played a role in the Megxit negotiations were humorously labelled as the bee, the fly and the wasp. In Harry's memoir, it's like a zoo of power players behind the palace walls. And guess who was the bee? You guessed it, Sir Edward Young. Now, King Charles seems to be raising eyebrows by not only keeping Sir Edward around, but promoting him. One can't help but wonder if there's more to this than meets the eye. Is King Charles throwing a curveball in the Sussex direction, or is there something deeper at play? The tension, the drama, the intrigue, it's like a real-life soap opera unfolding before our eyes. The Buckingham Palace spokesperson has confirmed the appointment, but what lies beneath is seemingly innocuous move. Is there a hidden power play, a chess move that's about to change the game? What do you guys think about this news? Is this the royal family's way of getting back at Harry and Meghan, or is there more to the story? Let us know in the comments, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.